A família Adams é uma família muito esquisita. Vivem numa mansão vitoriana e têm como animal de estimação lá de casa uma mão, uma mão que anda sozinha e que faz imensas tarefas lá em casa. Abre a porta, joga o xadrez com o dono da casa, ajuda-o também a pôr as bolas de golfe para ele poder jogar golfe à vontade. Enfim, a família Adams é uma história de terror, humor, onde a única coisa que lhe pode acontecer é morrer a rir. A família Adams tem um elenco extraordinário, de onde se destacam Raul de Júlia, que é o Gomes, lá de casa, e a Morticha, que é nada mais, nada menos, do que Angélica Houston. Eu fui propositadamente a Londres falar com esse metro e oitenta e dois de talento que se chama Angélica Houston. A família Adams é para não perder. Estou fascinado porque estou em frente de uma grande vedeta do cinema americano, pela qual eu tenho um especial carinho. A única coisa que se pode fazer a Angélica Houston é oferecer-se uma rosa. A rose for you. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm very delighted to be in front of you. Thank you. And lots of fans in Portugal, they are now exuberant and delighted too. Tell me, do you think there is a lot of Adam families all around us, even next door? I like to think so. Um, I think um, you, you, you really couldn't have better neighbors. Um, That's if you don't mind having your windows smashed by flying golf balls, because Gomez is a golfer. Um, but actually, they're um, they're a little malicious, but um, but I think they're a very nice and rather dear family. Mark Twain uses to say that each people, even people, is like the moon. We like to to keep and not to show our grey and dark side. Do you think that Adam's family is your dark side, my dark side? Yes, and, and the Adam's family sort of celebrates the dark side. Um, it's the part of us that loves Halloween. It's the part of us that um, laughs at, at, um, at dark things. Um, and I think it's very healthy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think that we laugh with this kind of terror comedies because this is the the human nature definitely um, yes uh, sadly it's it's um, it's within all of us i think to 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 laugh at the afflicted or or um in in some way and um the adams i think um uh, do it subtly but but i'm afraid they're they're slightly slightly naughty who is Morticia Adams? She is a devoted uh, wife and mother, uh, very much in love with her husband. He is a little bit more in love with with her than she is with him, which I think is um, also very healthy. Um, she's um, uh, indulgent with her children. She's flirtatious. She flirts with practically everything, yes. um, including, um, you know, a disembodied hand and. Um, a, you know, a gate, if who necessary. Is, who is Angelica Houston close to Morticia Adams? Um, I, I think closer in more <laughs> ways than I want to mention. Uh, I, I, um, I think, um, it, well, it's hard, it's hard really to just separate from, from uh, the characters I play, in, in a way. And um, so it was Morticia, not very I difficult. think, is, is one of the more benevolent, <laughs> nicer characters. So. so it was not very difficult for you to build this character? No, no. no. It, it came rather naturally, and, and particularly once I was dressed, I, I understood the character a lot better. And um, by dressed, I don't mean that I was naked in rehearsal, but, but um, uh, being, being uh, in, in full uh, regalia as, as Morticia was... Uh, very different from, from rehearsals. I read about uh, you, something like this. You are very confident, very calm. Is, is this true? Are you the anti-star? Are you the Hollywood outsider? Um, I don't really think in those terms. I, I, don't, um, I, I don't really feel like an outsider. I, I, sometimes I'm very nervous and um, 
and um, have very little confidence. But it's a it's a kind of um, a wavering thing. So it depends you on the day. Very the hard for your career. Um, it happens. Well, uh, um, you can't say that things just happen. Um, I think uh, there was a time when I had to push very hard, and um, I had to be quite strict with myself, and. Um, sometimes it could be disheartening, but uh, lately I think things have, have, have come around a little bit more to, to where I wanted them to be when I first started to act. The work with Raul Julia and Christopher Lloyd and Christina Ricci, was it funny too? Yes, and, and wonderful. They're, they're excellent actors. Um, I had a very good time with Raul. He's a perfect gentleman. He's um, he's very funny. Uh, Raoul starts his mornings off singing opera, um, which has uh, never been <laughs> my reaction to it, to any given morning. Um, but he's a, he's a truly happy person. Um, Christina is is I, I think a tremendously talented, um, very innovative actress, and Christopher Lloyd is. Um, Magic, what can I say? I have hundreds of questions to ask you, but our time is finishing. Oh, I'm so, sorry. a common place. Do, do you feel that you have a handicap because you are the daughter of John Huston? No, I, I feel I have an advantage. You have an advantage. He's the, the, the man of your life. Uh, well, he's certainly my father, which I, I guess he's the first man of my life, anyway. The last question, definitely. What is your wish for 92? Your secret. Can I have this secret? Um, my secret wish for 92? Um, well, that Russia will be all right. That um, we'll find a cure for AIDS. And um, that um, for you people personally. will be able to live in peace. And for you personally. That's for me personally. <laughs> So, thank you very much. Thank you. I hope to see you again in Portugal with our son. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We, Uncle Fester, Father says so, but I think Mother isn't sure. Pugsley, sit in the chair. Why? So we can play a game. What game? It's called... Is there a god?